Yes, there's bees by my head. Hey everyone, so today we are going to be making dandelion honey and um, there are bees by my head right now. All right, anyways, but it's very cute and aesthetic intro. All right, so we are going to be making this and we got a mason jar and this is the exact amount we're going to make. You basically just need dandelions, honey, and to cook it, we'll show you how to. But yeah, without any further ado, let's get into it then. Also, yeah. So some tips for gathering dandelions. Um, first of all, is definitely to like leave enough so that bees and stuff can get the honey and make their own honey afterwards, which we did. We have a front lawn and a back lawn, so we left some. Definitely that. Also make sure you don't get ants in it because then you'll be making ant honey. So make sure you don't have ants. And there were like a lot of ants, so yeah. Tips. I'm in an aesthetic tree. Look at- Oh, that- Oh my gosh, there's me. Okay, I'm an aesthetic tree. Oh, bestie. Oh, pro tip, don't wear white because my hands are literally all dandelion-y. I don't know if you could tell bestie, but they are. You just know that they are. Chilling in a tree, so aesthetic. So aesthetic. Look at this, it's like a scene out of a musical. All right, anyways, Bessie, I'm having way too much fun in this tree and let's just get right into the video then. Don't mind that I am with cute flowers. Okay, so here we are collecting some dandelions and when you do this, make sure that you don't include the stem and that the dandelions that you are picking to use are open because if they're not, this is probably not gonna get you the best results. And also make sure that you leave enough dandelions for the bees since of course we did no mo may and now we have a bunch of dandelions on our lawn. That's why we are taking some, but of course we are careful to leave some for the bees in the future and yeah, you just want to collect as many as you can or as much as you want in order to create your dandelion honey so that is what we are doing Next, once you've collected all the dandelions that you're going to use, you want to soak them in water just to make sure that they're clean and everything like that before you make the honey. So here I am just adding them to a bowl and I soaked them in just enough water so that it covered them all. So that is what I did at this step. I set a timer to let them soak for 10 minutes just to make sure that all of them are clean and so that we could start the process of making honey. Mm. 
Next, you want to cook them again just to make sure that they're clean and everything like that. And I cooked them, I think, on medium for about 10 or so minutes. And after that, you just close the lid and this will also help get the dandelion like water set out. So yes. After about 10 minutes of cooking, we took them out and drained the dandelions to make sure that everything was set. And of course, Roxy helped with this. Then we added the sugar, which kind of depends on how many dandelions that you originally had, and of course we cook it. I added one cup sugar, and this is the finished product! Yes, bestie! We love the, the super long picking and the super fast actual recipe! Enjoy! There's... Wait, where? Okay, uh. Smile. Smile is smelly.